dear students as we have finished our novel a tale of two cities we will start today with the themes the themes as you have been through the novel they are all very skillfully coordinated and integrated when with one another some of the themes are quite obvious simple to find out and locate like family sacrifice warfare suffering society class difference and resurrection others you have to really go through the text to understand the underlying theme today we are discussing the major theme of resurrection resurrection is one of the main themes of the novel it takes a variety of forms and as discussed in class we discussed about the religious aspect of resurrection and today we will discuss all the other secular meanings that come to our mind while we were doing through the novel the character that who that is mainly highlighting the theme of resurrection in our novel is first of all dr minette now dr minette uh resurrection is introduced in the very first chapter if you recall book 1 chapter 1 dr minette is we get hints that there is this man who is imprisoned in the bastille fort for 18 years and we get uh, an insight into this knowledge by mr lorry now lorry is traveling to through the dover mail and he receives a message from the telson bank and which tells him to stay in dover and wait for the mademoiselle the reply that he sends back is recalled to life now during the journey lorry dreamt of a dead man he who was being dug out of the grave and that is dr minette dr minette spent 18 years of his life in imprisonment in the bastille fort and he is being released from there so he is being brought back to life he is being recalled to life and it is the resurrection or the rebirth of dr minette his second resurrection is when he is brought back to his normal routine to his normal life where he gave up shoe making and he returned to sanity and all that is because of the love devotion and the care that his daughter lucy provides him and he started started to practice medicine as well now the second character highlighting the theme of resurrection is charles darnay charles first resurrection is if you recall when he was in england and he was being prosecuted for treason against england in old bailey now old bailey had a reputation that nobody stepped out alive but charles darnay was was uh, lucky enough because he had sydney carton who made use of his uh, being a look alike of charles darnay and he was proved innocent and he got the ch verdict changed to acquittal bringing him back to life this was his first resurrection now his second resurrection is when he is caught in paris and that was after he got married to lucy and he got a letter from his trusted servant who had helped him leave paris for england and he got a letter to come and save him now charles tarne being the thorough gentleman that he was he went back to paris to save him to testify in favor of his servant now at that time the revolution had ended the paris was in turmoil the revolutionaries had taken control and there was lot of bloodshed of the nobilities he was taken in as a prisoner a prisoner in secret and was kept at la force he had no idea that a decree had been passed that an immigrant who ever travels to paris or comes to paris would not only have to give over his property but would also have to get a uh, his life as well means that he would be subjected to death by being sent to the guillotine now dr minette as soon as he learned that his son in law charles tarne had moved to paris and uh, was caught there he went to paris and used his influence that he had over the revolutionaries because he had spent half of his life in paris serving them as a doctor so he 
uh, and the people knew, the revolutionaries knew that he was sent to the Bastille fort and spent 18 years of his life there. So he had an influence over the revolutionaries, the jury and the judge, and he was able to get Charles Tarnay out of the prison. And so that's his second resurrection where his call back to life again. Now the third resurrection, when, remember the last chapter of the book, the book three, when he's caught in Paris again and he's denounced by Dr. Minette and Mr. and Mrs. Defarge because he belonged to the Evremont family who had taken the life of the sister, brother and the father of Mrs. Defarge. And they found a letter written by Dr. Minette himself when he was imprisoned in the Bastille Fort in his cell 105 North Tower. And he had denounced the whole of the Evremont family. They used that letter to get Charles back to prison. And the jury spared no mercy and he was sentenced to death. But before his death, Sidney Carton, if you remember, lookalike of Charles Tarnay, he replaced him because he wanted to fulfill his promise to Lucy that he made to her that although she rejected his proposal, he would risk his life even or sacrifice his life even and to make her happy, she would he would do anything to make her or her loved ones happy. And since Lucy loved her husband, Charles Tarnay, a lot, so... He replaced him in the prison and Charles again was brought back to life and is resurrected again. The third character duplicating the theme of resurrection is none other than Sidney Carton. Although Sidney Carton died, but it was a moral resurrection for him. Throughout the novel, he, we read that he kept calling himself a dissolute dog, a useless person, living a useless life. But his sacrifice brings moral regeneration for him and he is brought back to life and he would stay alive in the life of Lucy and her family. Jerry Cruncher, the last but not the least, he is calling himself a resurrection man in a book. So Jerry Cruncher is carrying on a secret business to supplement his income apart from being an Iran boy at the Tilson Bank. He digs out newly buried coffins and take out the dead bodies to sell them to the surgeons for medical purposes, obviously. So he calls his trade the resurrection man because he's bringing dead bodies to life. These are all the characters that have been highlighting the theme of resurrection. Now, I hope you have understood this theme. Your task now is you will choose any other theme from the book and explain with putting in all the relevant details, all the characters, all the events and everything. You have the option of making a PowerPoint like I did, or you can write it down, type it on a Word document, or you can write it in your copies and take a picture and upload it. Happy learning.